Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this Scan Tool Network video. In this video, as you probably worked out already, we're going to be taking a closer look at the iCarsoft OP version 2.0 kit. Now, uh, it's basically 21 questions or everything you need to know if you may be considering buying this tool and you really want to know a little bit more about the tool, well hopefully this video will help you. So we've got 21 questions and we'll get straight into it. So the first question is, what is the OP version 2.0 kit? Well it is a, a diagnostic package which is designed purely to hook up to the, uh, the vehicle, uh, the diagnostic port of Opel and Vauxhall vehicles. So it will allow you to communicate with the vehicle diagnose and reset fault codes and do a few other special functions which we'll get into in just a moment. Uh, where to buy the tool is the next question. Uh, the tool we recommend buying it from a trusted seller that will give you genuine products There are fake products there are clone products on the market unfortunately But you know for a fact you'll get a diagnostic tool which is genuine and 100% official if you go to diagnostic world It's www.diagnostic-world.com Also, I'll put a link to a genuine Amazon listing as well where you can pick up the genuine tool if you prefer to go ahead and shop on Amazon uh, But only go through the links in the description below the video if you are looking to to get a diagnostic package as I say which is hundred percent genuine so how much is the tool well it varies unfortunately I mean it, it all really depends on the current market you know the prices of the manufacturers are setting things like that uh, but right now this tool at diagnostic world is about I think it's like 149 pounds I think you'll pay about 150 if you go for it on Amazon but as I say that's subject to change you may be watching this video in a year's time the price might be a little bit higher it might be a little bit lower who knows Roughly that's what you're going to pay though. Um, how is the tool powered? Is it, does it have a battery installed or is it, uh, is it wireless? Um, if you take this out, this cable, you will lose all power to the tool. There you go, screen's completely gone off. Once you plug it back in, you will gain power again. The tool itself can only take power from the vehicle battery and it does that via cables in here. Uh, but it's not something you need to worry about. All you need to know is once it's plugged in, you will get power to the tool. Uh, what manufacturers does it cover? It only covers Vauxhall and Opel manufacturer uh, vehicles. So if you if you had a Vauxhall, Opel, or uh, well, additionally like a Peugeot or a BMW, then you would need to buy a different level of tool. I'd recommend something like the iCars or the CR Pro. Um, I'll put that in the description below as well if you're interested. But that is um, this tool is primarily and can only ever be used on Vauxhall and Opel vehicles. That is providing you're looking to diagnose all of the main systems. Um, there is a little bracket to that as well which I'll come to again very soon. So what systems are covered? Well it all really depends on your vehicle. Newer, newer vehicles have more systems installed so it's going gonna, it's gonna to diagnose more systems on a newer vehicle as opposed to a 2004 vehicle which this is but let me just show you. So we click into diagnostics and we'll use this vehicle as an example. So we'll go to our vehicle which is a Corsa C, it's a 2004, select our vehicle, that's giving us a potential 12 systems to connect to. In the whole though you're always probably going to get the engine, the ABS, the airbags and the transmission control modules as well. Um, so that's what it will cover on this vehicle, you know you could maybe select a different vehicle let me say for example I don't know like Adam 2013 let's say that's already given us five there actually 14 five okay maybe that's not a good example uh, Astra H 2012 34 different systems that I can potentially connect to it all depends on what systems that vehicle has installed to it uh, but mainly as I say you're going to get the main systems the engines the airbags the ABS and the transmission so what about special functions what special functions does this tool have uh, well if we go to the service menu these are the special functions so we got oil service reset electronic park and brake open and close uh, electronic throttle control or calibration steering angle sensor calibration and DPF the DPF is only suitable for certain vehicles. Um, it's worth contacting the seller to see which vehicles are covered because 
it doesn't really cover a great deal of vehicles for DPF so it's very very worth checking uh, if you are buying this tool for the purely the purpose of doing a DPF regeneration please don't do that just contact the seller first and they will double check for you okay uh, what information does it give when you get a fault code well I'll show you because we have a check engine light on this car you probably already noticed that and I'm going to click into the diagnostics for this specific vehicle and I'll show you exactly what information it gives. So of course I see uh, down to 2004 this is our vehicle manually select the engine control module sometimes the first time it might give a link error but if it does just go straight back in and you get the option to read code so we've got here P0130-004 oxygen sensor open circuit bank one sensor one so it's telling us there's a problem with one of the O2 sensors the uh, probably the wiring or the, the sensor itself now if you if you get this information or a certain bit of information that you're not exactly sure on what it means uh, my advice is always to just just put it put it into Google the chances are if you're getting this fault code somebody else will be getting it as well so although it gives you basic information Google will probably give you the answer as to exactly what you need to change it's probably like any uh, an O2 sensor in a case like this uh, but go to Google and that will give you the, in, the, the the more detailed information this information is the, is what the manufacturer offers when a fault occurs so it doesn't matter whether you get you know a super duper high-end tool or this tool or a lower end tool you'll always get this information for that particular fault that's just the, the information that the manufacturers are willing to give out uh, okay so uh, just while we're here we'll go into clear DTC and we'll show you this uh, tool clearing the check engine light so if we go to clear DTC when I click F2 for OK just keep an eye on the check engine light when I do this check engine light is gone succeeded to clear DTC so that's really good uh, is it a touch screen the answer is no uh, it's not used as a touch screen it can be uh, miss seen as a, a touch screen I guess but you do have to use the menu buttons uh, on the side of the the tool itself how much are the updates updates for this tool are free for life you'll always get free free updates for life if you go through diagnostic world or the Amazon link like I say there are clones they may charge you 10 pounds 20 pounds every time you want to do an update if you go through it for a genuine tool you'll always get free updates for life genuine um, some tools, some other manufacturers of tools, they will charge you updates and that's the beauty of these iCost of tools, you won't pay for any updates on these particular products and that is guaranteed for life. On the subject of updates, how do you update it? Uh, it's just really a case of going onto your uh, computer, downloading a package, uh, downloading a, a bit of software, and then you hook this, this tool up to your computer via a USB cable. The software will recognize the tool and then a few clicks of a button and it will upload the latest information, the latest software to this tool. I literally did that exact thing about 10 minutes ago before I started this video, just to make sure that we were dealing with the latest information um, on the tool itself. So how does it compare to other tools? Um, well, the Opel or the OP version 1.0. I've also made a, a similar style video for this tool, but just seeing as I've got them both here, um, this tool will do everything that this tool will do. The OP version 2.0 is kind of a step up, so you're going to pay more, about £50 more for the, the 2.0 as opposed to the 1.0, but the 2.0 will give you the only additional things it will really give you is in the service menu so if we go to enter so both tools will do the oil reset the 2.0 kit will give you the EPB the ETC the SES and the DPF if that makes sense everything else is exactly the same so it really depends on if the extra money is worth having these extra functions on your tool that's obviously up, up to you to decide and only you can make that decision I guess um, can you get help and support for these tools if you need it yes you can go through your only your the people you bought it off will give you help and support so if you bought it second hand then I'm afraid you're just not going to get any help and support if you bought it through Diagnostic World or the link in the Amazon description uh, below or the Amazon link then you'll get help and support from that exact seller so we always recommend going through a trusted seller someone who's going to give you a genuine product because that way you will get genuine help and support 
and can you print faults from these tools you can't print directly from them you can't who you can't link it directly to a printer but you can save information and then save the information on the SD card which sits just in there and then you can transfer the information on the card to your computer and then print it off that way it's not the easiest thing to do it's not the easiest way to do it but it can be done if you absolutely had to uh, so just understand that. So languages, what about languages? We've got a few different languages if we go to setup. We'll cover a few of the other um, menu options in a minute. If we go to setup, we go to language, we've got English, German, Dutch, French and Spanish. Those are the only languages which are supported at the moment. Uh, what about the box? What's in the box? I've got the box right here. So this is the box it's quite a nice box in here you will get quite a nice carry case and pouch in here you'll get the instruction manual so this tells you how to use the tool how to do the updates and you'll get a, a cable and a USB cable in this part of the uh, the pouch as well and that just fits nicely in there so it's it's quite quite a nice presentation box actually and quite a nice pouch if you wanted to keep it in your dash, uh, sorry, the, the glove box or your boot of your car at all times, that's what I'd certainly recommend. Uh, is it easy to use? Well, you can see how easy I'm toggling through the menu systems. All of the instructions as well are very clear and concise. And, you know, basically, would I recommend it to anybody with little or no experience at all? And I would say absolutely. You can't, you can't do any damage to the car. You can't do any damage to the tool when using them. Um, you can't, you know, change systems you can't change you can't do any programming so you're not going to you're not going to cause any problems to your car at all all you can really do is get some live data i'll show you that as well uh, diagnose faults reset faults and warning lights as well uh, in fact just while we're on that subject of live data i will just show you a little bit of live data and how you would go around getting it so we're just going to go and select our vehicle again Course C 2004. Select the engine. Just done that link. It seems to do that every time, actually. But when you go back, we go back into it. It's fine. So you, these are bits of. You've got 52 bits of potential live data we can look at. So if we just select all F1 and then select F2 to start, it's going to show us all of this live data from the vehicle. So you can view live data from the engine module, you can view live data from the transmission, the ABS sensors, um, but right now we're only going to get engine live data because we're in the engine module system of the tool. But that is the live data in a nutshell. Um, it's quite slow to toggle through this because I, I guess it wants you to, to, to look at the information and not just sort of scroll right through it. Uh, what about some of the other menu icons? Well, I'll have a quick look at those. So we've covered the diagnostics, we've covered the service. If we go to voltage, this just gives you battery information. So it gives you the live data and the minimum and maximums from this particular uh, test that it's doing right now. If we go to this option here, OBD2 and eOBD, I mentioned this earlier, I touched on it just a little bit. This will give you access and allow you to diagnose engine fault codes in other makes and models. So if you had a BMW or a Mercedes or a Citroen, Peugeot, etc., you can diagnose engine faults in that car via this option here, but you can't go and diagnose ABS faults or airbag faults in those other cars. Uh, you need a more detailed tool like the CR Pro for that, but um, that's, it's a nice feature to have if you just wanted to do a quick check on one of your other cars. But in detail, it only covers Vauxhall and Opel. Uh, does the tool double up as a tablet? Um, unfortunately, the answer is no. You can't use it as a tablet device. You can't do download any apps on it or anything like that. It's purely a diagnostic tool. That's all it will do. And final question we normally get is how fast is delivery? Delivery honestly is one to three working days, whether you die, whether you get it from Diagnostic World or whether you get it from um, the Amazon link in the description. It's, uh, it's one to three working days. It is what it is. Uh, so I hope you found this video useful. You know, I hope if you're maybe looking to buy this tool, then you've maybe learned something about it. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't go through all the rest of the buttons, did I? Review data. Just basically, if you you can record live data, you can record data from the from the tool itself, and then you can review it back. 
Uh, DTC lookup is basically a library, a, a diagnostic tool called library, so it'll just give you all of the information on all of the faults. Uh, setup, we had a quick look at that before. We'll just do a factory reset, things like that. Help lets you know what OBD2 is, gives you a little bit of information about diagnostics on the whole and about, gives you the current firmware, software updates and serial numbers, things like that. So that's the tool, hope you found it useful, as I say it's available at Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com, I will put a link to this kit in the description below this video and also I'll put the link to the Amazon uh, link uh, as well in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.